Hi there, my name's Kyle Pryor and I play Dr. Nate Cooper. And I'm Bridget Sneddon and I'm playing Sophie Taylor. Well, when Sophie arrives in the bay, uh, Nate is obviously extremely shocked. He's very surprised to see her, the last person he would expect to see in the bay. And she kind of starts to, to work a bit of magic and, and kind of involves herself in Nate's life once again, even though he would prefer to be actually focusing on his work. And he's still getting over the whole thing with Ricky as well. Ricky, wait! Hi, Nate. Where's your wife? The last thing on his mind is relationships. He just wants to immerse himself in his job. And then a blast from the past comes back and, and stirs things up for him. Together, we brought out the worst in You're each other. You're making it sound like our whole marriage is a nightmare. But we had so many great times together. Well, at the beginning, it was this wonderful love story, and they fell madly and deeply in love with each other. Uh, but she does have a dark past. Nate made the decision to go away. She would have probably stayed in that relationship, but him going away made her then realise that she, she re-evaluated her life and got herself back on track. So when she comes to the Bay, she's in a really good place in her life, and she's ready to get back and find Man. Well, you were obviously very good at your job to be sent here. <laughs> Been after a transfer for ages. I don't think uh, Nate gives in easily to anything, to be honest. He likes to get his own way, and once he decides on something, that's what he pursues. Don't. What? Just because we have a history doesn't mean we have a future. <laughs> Sophie is definitely someone who knows the angles to work with Nate. And, um... Yeah, obviously, <laughs> she has a tendency to get her own way as well, much to the dislike of Nate. He, he doesn't like that side of himself, but she really can bring out that. She gets under his skin. Yeah, big time, that's, that's exactly it. This transfer, it's not a coincidence, is it? Not even a little bit. I, I love being part of Home and Away, and it's um, a bit of a childhood dream. I mean, I grew up with the show and, and working with so many great actors on the show. And yeah, especially I think both you and I sort of have done the struggle street actor thing and so <laughs> to be employed is amazing yeah, and to be yeah. on this show where everyone is genuinely so nice and Steve always said that he's always like the crew and the cast is so amazing but until you're actually part of this family and you're going to work every day you don't realise actually how amazing it is. There was a funny situation in rehearsal actually where I was running a scene with Bridge and Steve was sat next to me and, and I had to say to Bridget um, you actually look amazing today. and then Steve leans over and goes mate do you mind I sat right next to her so that was that was a comical moment I think that broke the ice for everyone that was funny